Hi, hi. 2020 is a year to be remembered for the investors because the market witnessed huge falls in economies across the globe due to COVID-19. But amidst all such a situation, there were certain penny stocks that surprised everyone by turning out to be multi-baggers. And this video is about those penny stocks that turned to become multi-bagger stocks even during the COVID-19 situation. Along with the great disruption for the entire world, the year has also been a roller coaster ride for the financial world since the COVID-19 pandemic continues to spook the global equity markets. Most Asian and European markets have registered big losses over the economic fallout. But certain stocks just got lucky and rode up to become multi-baggers. The following 10 to 1 stocks are those lucky stocks. Number 10. Jay Prakash Associates JP Group's Jay Prakash Associates is a well-varied and diversified infrastructural industrial empire in India. The company is an assorted infrastructure coalition with business interests into engineering and construction, cement, power, real estate, expressways, fertilizers, healthcare, sports, hospitality, information technology and education. The stock of JP Group has risen 214 percentage that is to rupees 6.16 as of December 24, 2020 from just rupees 1.96 on December 31, 2019. Number 9. Tata Teleservices Maharashtra This company spearheads the Tata Group's existence in the telecommunication sector. It is one among the leading mobile telecom service providers providing mobile connectivity and services to consumers all over Mumbai and Maharashtra circles. The stock of this company has risen just from rupees 2.25 on December 31, 2019 to rupees 7.59 on 24 December 2020. So that is an increase of 237 percentage. Number eight, Bombay Rayon Fashions. This company, BRFL, is a vertically integrated textile company which was found back in the year 1986. It is committed in the manufacture of broad range of fabrics and garments from the state of art production facilities. BRFL is on the brink of completing 25 years in the fabrics industry. And the stock of Bombay Rayon Fashions Limited has risen from rupees 4.20 on 31st December 2019 to rupees 13.44 as of 24 December 2020. So this records an increase of 220 percentage. Number seven, Marksens Pharma. Marksens Pharma is a global pharmaceutical company. This company is actively committed to R&D and also offers customer relationship and asset management system CRAM to global pharmaceutical companies. The stock of Marksens Pharma has risen 247 percentage that is from 16.71 on 31st December 2019 to 58.05 on 24 December 2020. Number six, Ratan India Infrastructure. This is a holding company which is committed to setting up its power project in India for the purpose of generation of thermal power. Ratan India Infrastructure is pursuing consultancy option in generation, transmission and distribution of power. The stock of Ratan India Infrastructure has seen a rise of 253 percentage that is from rupees 1.87 on 31st December 2019 to rupees 6.61 on 24 December 2020. Number 5. CG Power and Industrial Solutions. This was previously known as Crompton Greaves Limited. It is an Indian multinational company which is engaged in design, manufacturing and marketing products related to power generation, distribution and transmission. It was established in Mumbai and is a part of the famous Murugappa Group. The stock of CG Power and Industrial Solution has risen from Rs 10.82 on December 31, 2019 to rupees. 43.20 on December 24, 2020. So that is an increase of 299 percentage in a year. Number four, 
Kelton Tech Solutions Limited. This is an Indian based information technology and outsourcing company headquartered in Hyderabad with its overseas offices in the US and Europe. The company has documented net revenues of Rs 7.39 billion. The stock of KTSL has risen from Rs 18.05 on 31st December 2019 to Rs 72.50 as on 24th December 2020. So that is an increase of 301 percentage in a year. Number 3. Karda Constructions this is a Nasik based company which was found by its promoter Mr. Naresh Kada back in the year 1994. Later, it was incorporated in 2007 as Kada Constructions Private Limited. So the company already had an experience of more than two decades in the construction industry. The core business activities of this company includes real estate development, residential projects as well as office spaces as construction contracts. The stock of Kada Constructions has seen a raise of 376 percentage in one year that is to Rs 113.10 as of 24 December 2020 from just Rs 23.74 on 31st December 2019. Number 2. Sobex Limited. This is an enterprise software company based in Bangalore, India. Yeah. This company provides digital solutions for 75% of the top 50 telcos of the world. Found in the year 1992, it consults to global telecom and carriers for operational excellence and business transformation by driving fresh revenue models, improving the customer experience and optimizing the enterprise as well. The stock of Subex has seen a rise of 403% in one year, that is from Rs 5.90 on December 31, 2019, it has gone up to Rs 29.70 as of December 24, 2020. Number 1. Alok Industries. This is an Indian textile manufacturing company based in Mumbai. I had earlier made a video about Alok Industries few months ago predicting it to be a multi-bagger stock. The link for the video is given in the description. Don't forget to check out the video to get more details about Alok Industries. The main business of Alok Industries involves weaving, knitting and processing home textiles, ready-made garments and polyester yarns. This company literally went bankrupt and it was then taken over by Reliance Industries Limited and JM Financial Limited and after the acquisition the stock price of Alok Industries has seen a raise of 602 percentage in one year that is from rupees 3.04 on 31st December 2019 it raised up to 21.35 as on 24 December 2020. While most other businesses were starving during these hard times, these companies rose above that darkness and functioned to see the light of the day. This can stand as an inspiring aspect for the other companies as well. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to evolve, there has never been a more pressing need for the organizations to rethink and reconfigure their businesses for a changed world. Now is the time for organizations to focus their efforts on supporting key areas of their businesses and that will help them to stabilize in the new environment and work on the strategies for what is next.